Mark Wiens here in Bangkok, Thailand. Today I am going to make the Thai recipe for Blatad Kamin, which is fish marinated in turmeric, fresh turmeric and fresh garlic, and then deep fried to a crisp. It has to be one of my favorite ways to make a fried fish. The combination of garlic and turmeric is just unbelievably tasty. So, gonna make this recipe. It's, it's pretty easy to make, and the flavors and the taste is just out of controllably good. I am using a fish that in Thai it's called bladang, and which that actually translates just to red fish. I'm actually not sure exactly of the English name, uh, but it's just a really good uh, fish, and it's commonly used in southern Thai cooking, uh, especially to make this batad kamin. But anyways, you could, you could alternatively use a different kind of fish. Mackerel works really well. Uh, even a tilapia would work. But any kind of firm fish that would be good deep fried uh, would definitely work with this recipe. So you can, you can go to the supermarket and any kind of whole fish that would be deep, good deep fried, you can make this recipe with. I'm gonna be using two medium sized fish, uh, which together equaled about one kilo. Next, you're gonna need a bunch of raw fresh turmeric root. I used 150 grams, which was about a heaping handful. Then you'll also need a ton of garlic. And after that, you just need a pinch of salt and about a one liter bottle of oil for deep frying. You're gonna need a lot of garlic. Uh, so this is 250 grams, and I think it's, it's uh, seven whole heads of garlic. This is just a way to save time peeling bunches of garlic. Throw them all in a pot, stick on the lid. and just start shaking it violently for like five minutes. It's kind of like making popcorn, only violently. Okay, let's take a look and peek inside. Oh yeah. Someone on one of my other recipe videos left a comment saying I should try this out when I make a lot of, when I need to use a lot of garlic. So I have been doing it ever since. And so big thank you for uh, suggesting the pot shaking garlic method. It actually really works. Once you peel all of your garlic, you can just set it all aside on the cutting board. And now we're going to prepare the fresh turmeric root. So just chop it up into small pieces coarsely, uh, and this is just gonna help to prepare it to be pounded. The next step is to take your mortar and pestle and just start grinding your garlic and turmeric. I had to do little by little in quite a few batches, uh, just because my mortar is not big enough, and then mix it all in a bowl. It should only take about five or 10 minutes, and you're not really going for a paste, but more of just an oily mixture of the crushed garlic and turmeric, and you just don't want any big chunks. By this point, your fish should already be descaled, and the insides should already be removed. So you just wanna take each of your fish, and you wanna make three diagonal slices on the fillet of the fish on both sides. Uh, make sure you cut through the skin, but you don't wanna go too deep into the flesh. Next, you're gonna need a big bowl or basin and go ahead and put your fish in that and then take some salt and just give each of the fish a small sprinkle and then just rub your hands over the salt to make sure it's spread out over the fish. The next step is to take your turmeric garlic mixture and start just piling it over the fish, all of it. And then just go right in with your hands and start to gently massage the fish, mostly just to make sure every part of the fish is coated in that orange goodness. Also take some of that turmeric and garlic and really kind of stuff it into those slits that we made in the side of the fish. This will ensure that all that flavor gets stuck in that meat. Okay, moving on. Now you can go ahead and turn on your fire to a medium heat and add about one liter of oil to your pot or wok. You don't really need to marinate the fish for too long. Uh, about 10 minutes is fine. Getting ready to fry these fish, but one thing you gotta note is that you wanna first fry the fish and you wanna take off the actual garlic and the turmeric because if you fry the turmeric and the garlic for the entire time that you're frying the fish, the turmeric and garlic will burn. So first you wanna kinda of take off most of the, the bulk of the garlic and turmeric before frying and then fry it and then at the end we'll fry the rest of the garlic and turmeric. Make sure your oil is hot and then you want to gently slide the fish into the oil. They should immediately start to sizzle up and boil in the hot oil. Okay, so the tricky thing is knowing how long to fry your fish. And really it will kind of depend on the thickness of your fish. So my, my fish are actually quite small, 
and I think I fried them for about 8 to 10 minutes per side. One thing you need to do is keep scraping your spatula along the bottom of the wok, uh, kind of making sure that your fish doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan, but just be extremely careful when you're doing this. Once your fish is nice and browned on the bottom side, and you think it's cooked on that side, it's time to carefully flip it over, or even you can just sort of roll it over. Mine, I'll admit, wasn't the prettiest, but I got the job done. Then you want to keep frying it for about 8 to 10 minutes on the other side, but again, keep monitoring it carefully, as it may take more or less time for you. Also, keep scraping the bottom of the pan, making sure your fish is swimming in the oil and not sticking. Once your fish is cooked through and golden yellow brown on the outside, it's time to take them out of the oil and put them in a draining strainer or a paper towel. And you can just set them aside while we fry the turmeric and garlic. The first thing to do is turn down your heat to a medium low, and then slowly add all the turmeric and garlic into the hot oil. It should really bubble up, and, but then it should settle down after that. You want to slowly stir from the bottom of the pan, making sure it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan or clump up, so just stir slowly and carefully. Again, how long this takes is really going to depend on how hot your oil is, but if your oil is a low to medium heat, it should be about 5 to 10 minutes. Uh, you want to make sure the garlic is turning golden crispy and that the turmeric is dark orange brown. But be very careful not to burn it, uh, and so you just kind of got to feel it out and make sure it's crispy and toasted all the way but not burnt. Once it's done, take a strainer and fish out all the turmeric and garlic and do not leave any behind. The combination of that garlic is so delicious that you want to make sure you scrape out every last bit of it. Leave the garlic and turmeric to drain for a few minutes, and then it's time to assemble the final plate. So first take your fried fish, uh, set them onto a plate, and then you can just start spooning on that crispy garlic and turmeric. And if you're like me, you will probably start to snack on the garlic and turmeric because it smells so irresistibly good. It's just a golden, orangey beautifulness. The easiest thing to do is go in for the, for the fillet of the fish on the side and usually just like that and you can just see a piece of meat just comes away from the bone. That's good. I'm gonna take out some of that fish, put it over on my rice, top it with some of the turmeric and garlic. Dig in. That is incredibly good. The fish is crispy on the outside, and then that the garlic and turmeric is also extremely crispy and just so incredibly fragrant. I love the, the combination of garlic and turmeric so much that I barely even need the fish. I could eat a whole plate of rice just with deep fried garlic and turmeric. Huge thank you for watching this recipe for Platon Kamin fish fried with turmeric and garlic. It's, a, it's an incredibly delicious way to fry a fish and so tasty. Uh, give this recipe a try if you have the ingredients. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and thank you again for watching. Mm -hmm.